it's the Jabba's Tears Podcast. Hello, hello, hello there. This is Sir Wilkins of the Jabba Tears Podcast. And I'm interviewing the almighty, the lovable, the amazing, the, the amazing hair. Hair? Willow Nightingale. How are you today? I'm doing good. I'm doing all right. Uh, the hair is a little less than amazing. You know, after you wrestle, it goes like... But it's it's holding up there. It's the stuff of magic. So we try. Thank you for the interview. <laughs> it's li- literally right after your match. Yes. Um, you killed that gauntlet match. Thank you, thank you. Unfortunately, I did not win. You and Kira Hogan had an uh, amazing match as well. That I did win. I did win that one. That's cool. Thank you. Thank so, you. how long have you been in wrestling? I've been wrestling for about uh, three years or so now. Okay. Uh, I made my debut in February 2015 over at NYWC. That's my home promotion. Okay. So, uh, that's fun. It's been a journey since then. How did it feel? Can you walk me through that day? Like my first? Like first your first match, day, yeah. My first uh, match, uh, everyone said I looked like I was going to vomit, which honestly, not too much has changed. I get like very jittery before my matches, but I think like pre-match, like nerves and jitters is like really what kind of gives you like an edge. Mm-hmm. It's like, ah, when you get in there. Okay. So I don't, you know, I'm always like, eh. but then I get there and I'm like, oh, it's cool. Ooh, I got this. I know what I'm doing. I've wrestled before. <laughs> you know? Wrestle, what made you get into wrestling? Like, why did you decide to, like, this is what I'm going to do? Um, I've been a wrestling fan since I was about nine, ten years old. I've always loved it. Always knew I wanted to do it. Um, and then, you know, it, you kind of fall off when you're in high school. It's not as popular. I didn't have any friends who liked wrestling. But um, I went away to school, to college for a year. That didn't work out. I fell back and loved the wrestling. I was like, well, can't go to school. Might as well friggin' do this thing I love. Gosh darn it, now I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> now explain me your, your style of wrestling. Like, if you had to, like, compare it to anybody in, like, the, the majors, who would it be? Or just completely different from everybody else. You, you, you're just Willow Nightingale, and, and there's, you can't compare it to nobody else. I don't, I don't, I I don't think there's any one person who's completely unique, you know? Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, I'd like to think I'm a very unique character, I do fun stuff, but every single person is like an amalgamation of those who've come before them. Okay. So, um, I take, you know, little pieces from a lot of different people. When I first started training, I watched Shawn Michaels, Bret Hart, and Mr. Perfect relentlessly. Like, that's all I watched for six months, just to get, like, my execution right, so that I understood matches. Um, Said Shawn Michaels, Mr. Perfect. And Bret Hart. Like, I watched every single, like, Shawn Michaels. Who do you think is better, Bret Hart or Shawn Michaels? Please say the right person. Please say the right person. So, I'm like a big character person. Mm, say it. Come so, on. Say it. Say it. Say I'm it. like a huge Shawn Michaels fan. Yes! Uh, <laughs> ah, that's what I'm talking about. But, <laughs> but um, Bret Hart is amazing. Amazing in the yeah, ring. Yeah, he's, he's phenomenal. Yeah. I'll set the job of chairs a more Owen Hart fan too. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, like Nation of Domination? Nation of Domination, <laughs> Blue Blazer, every Owen Hart. We think Owen Hart is a better brother. Uh, yeah, he's a spunky little one. I like him. Yeah. So so you studied them for six months. And what was the process after that? Uh, bah, 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 bah. After that, I kind of started watching a lot of, like, wrestling that was around me. Mm-hmm. Like, I watched matches of places that I wanted to wrestle. Okay. Um, so, I watched a lot of Shimmer matches, because that was, like, when I first started my big goal. I finally hit it last month, and I was like, oh, this is crazy, this is life. Um, so, I watched a lot of Shimmer matches. Um, I watched a lot of, like, Beyond. There wasn't, like, Women's Wrestling Revolution yet. Okay. But I knew Beyond was, like, an awesome company. I wanted to work there. They were close enough. Yeah. Uh, I watched a lot of Beyond. Um, and just, like, indies from, like, around. Um, I've always been... Well, I won't say I've always been, but maybe, like, two years or so before I actually started training, I started getting into a lot of women's independent wrestling. Which helped me a lot once I got here. I got to know everyone. I was already familiar with people's work. And uh, right now, I'm watching a lot of 
like early mid 2000s women's independent wrestling just because I think it's important to know like where you came from who paved the way and uh, just stuff I want to know more about okay so you had a you had a major injury yeah. it's about what was it, six months ago a year ago oh no well it's almost like two years ago, two I years ago. okay um, but it, it kept me out for quite a while um, maybe like seven eight months I was out um, but now my knees are good how you, how'd you, how'd you, how'd you get like over that like how'd you all right I got I'm, you get injured and it's a ma a pretty major injury do you like say okay I'm done with wrestling like what made you keep it definitely crossed my mind a lot yeah. But I was also very super depressed when it happened. I knew I missed wrestling a lot. Like I felt like I was in an emotionally like codependent relationship with wrestling. And I was like, ah, it just keeps going back to me. It's gonna keep beating me up, but I need it. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I came back. Again, had a lot of those nerves, but it was, it was settled and I'm here and things are good and life's been great since I came back. <laughs> what helped you get over it though? Uh, I was like, what, what? like physical therapy, I got surgery, uh, lots of physical therapy, um, I would go through phases where I'd watch a lot of wrestling and then I couldn't watch any wrestling because I'd just be like, I'm sad, <laughs> I miss this, and then I'd watch it a lot again and then I'd stop, um, but yeah, it, was, it was a rough period, I don't know, I just, my love for wrestling is what really kept me like, being like, I can't wait to get back, can't wait to get back. back. Yeah. Now you're back. Yeah. What are some of the goals? What are some of the goals that now that you're back in in so, the game? I, like I said, Shimmer was my big goal. Just hit that. Um, I really love to go to Japan sometime. That's like day one goal as well. Um, Canada, Mexico, Europe, UK. I really want to wrestle for Pro Wrestling Eve eventually. Like. Uh, Huge feminist. Um, I friggin', <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. Yeah. So like, the moment I found out about Pro Wrestling Eve, I was like, well, that's where I gotta be someday, and uh, I'll just keep trying to get there eventually one day. Keep working my butt off. Okay. Okay. Travel around. That's nice. A big one. Nice. But it was a pleasure having you on the show. Pleasure having you. You're amazing. I wish you so Interview much luck. Interview me. Thank you. Thank you. And wish I'll. I'll sign off with a little finger <laughs> microphone. It's the Jabba Tears podcast with the beautiful and amazing and athletic and great hair. Willow, Willow Nightingale. Thank you, thank thank you so you. much for having us. Thank you. Oh. Thank you. It's the Jabba Tears podcast.